guys, it's Ella here and welcome to Fab Girls Vlog's latest video. It's a beautiful sunny day outside and I'm sat here recording a video just for your enjoyment. I do it because I love you. Today I'm going to be recording a recent empties video and you'll be happy to hear it's not as long as the last one because last year I set myself a challenge to gather all my empties for the whole year and then see how much I went through which is a surprisingly small amount compared to what I've got to show you today which is from the last three months. So it's January, February, March, and these are the empties that I've collected. I'm gonna be telling you a little bit about the products, whether I'd buy them again or not, um, and just my basic general opinion. So let's get started. First product is the Body Shop Chocolate and Orange Shower Cream. This is a really old one, I don't even know how long I've had this for. Um, but I always find stuff that I've had for ages and they're just like half finished, so I made an effort to finish this off. It does smell so nice, so I hope this Christmas, because it's a seasonal fragrance, that um, the Body Shop might bring it back or bring something very similar back. They've got the Chocomania range, which is probably actually nicer because it does smell more chocolatey. But um, yeah, I'd like to have this again if it were possible at all. So Body Shop, you heard it here first. Let's have it back. Up next is the Umberto Giannini Glam Hair Morning After Dry Shampoo. Um, I think I quite like this, I can't remember but it's not the best dry shampoo I've ever used. So I probably wouldn't buy it again just because I'd go for something like um, Bastiste or um, the Philip Kingsley one I seem to recall was really, really nice, but it was really expensive. It was about 14 pounds for a regular size bottle, I think. So while this was quite good, um, I wasn't wowed by it. So I probably wouldn't bother getting this one again. Next up we have the Sanctuary Comfort Garden Foaming Creamy Bath Soak. This was part of a present I got from Josie for my birthday. It was, I yummed it up, it was absolutely delicious. Um, unfortunately, I think for what the amount you get, which is only 250 ml, it's quite expensive. Um, and I think I might get it and use it as a special treat, but possibly not buy it regularly, I don't think. Um, it, it was really nice, but there are so many other really good bubble baths out there. I'm probably not going to buy this again. Another Body Shop product now. It is the Passion Fruit Shower Gel. Um, as you can see, completely empty. Uh, I really like the Passion Fruit scent. It's probably one of my favourites, if not, it's not, you know, the favourite, I suppose. So I'd probably get this again once I've gone through loads and loads and loads of other shower gels and things that I have stored up. Um, yeah, might get it again. It's a really nice scent. Obviously, it comes in the rest of the range, like the body butter and you know, other things like that. Um, it is really nice. So if you like this scent, then you really like the entire range. Next is a, a product that I think you can only get in America and I think it might have been a limited edition. It's a Carmex Moisturize, Moisture Plus Lip Balm, Ultra Hydrating Lip Balm. Um, it smells really vanilla-y. See, look, it's completely used up. I even scraped a little bit out to, uh, to use up. Yeah, it smells lovely. It smells really vanilla-y, but I can't get it anymore. This is so good, though. It really, really, really moisturised my lips. My lips were really dry at the beginning of the year, and this felt really lovely. So if I can get it again, I will. I've got friends in the States who might be able to get hold of it for me. Um, might be able to send me over one or two or ten. Uh, but it is really good. So if you live in the US and you can still get hold of these, this is the one with the kind of sequined effect. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, the, the packaging looks like a little bit like sequins. Uh, so if you live in the States and or you can get hold of this, then give it a go. It's absolutely lovely and it really works. Next is the number seven beautiful skin quick thinking wipes. I'm not going to go on and on about this because you know if you've been reading my blogs and watching my videos, I absolutely adore it. Um, it's just a fantastically good product for taking off your makeup, particularly um, waterproof makeup. It does really well on waterproof mascara. Um, I'm run out of these completely, so I need to get some more. Obviously, gonna repurchase them again and again, but only when I have the five pound number seven voucher, because it makes them two pounds instead of seven. It's a no brainer. Next, I've got a little sample of the Elemis, I think it is, Spa at Home Skin Nourishing Shower Cream. Uh, I was underwhelmed by this. It doesn't have anything particularly going for it, I don't think. So no, I wouldn't buy it again. 
I've also got something which is actually not finished, but I can't get it actually out of the um, of the can. It was a Hawaiian Spa Foam Burst Limited Edition with coconut milk and tiari flour uh, from Imperial Leather. Um, yeah, it's got so annoying that when I was trying to like spray the aerosol, in fact, I'll show you if I can. See, it's not even coming out now. Oh, oh, yeah, tiny bit. See, this is how it was coming out absolute pain in the you know what um i think probably because i've had it so long i have a feeling i might have bought this about a year after i came back from hawaii which is five years ago this summer so and it just like so long um and that's probably my fault but it did smell amazing so i got it out and tried to use it again and obviously i couldn't uh, i got so fed up of, of using it and i can wipe my hands now Got so fed up of trying to use it that I'm just gonna throw it away. There's just no point in keeping it. And it was limited edition, so I can't get it anymore, which is a shame. But um, I do like the Imperial Leather Foam Burst. They're really nice. Next, I've got the Ren Clean Skincare Clara Matte Invisible Pores Detox Mask. This is fantastic. Um, a fair amount of use in it, even though it's only 50 mils. Um, really sort of, uh, I felt it cleaned out my pores calmed down my skin and sort of refined it a little bit. It's for combination to oily skin. My skin's oily. Ren from what I've, the products that I've used have been great. Um, so I'd probably get this again. It's about 18 pounds though for this 15 mil thing. So it is really pricey, but I think it's worth it. Um, I felt it did really well for my skin. So I'd, I'd probably get it again. Um, I have got quite a few other face masks at the moment, obviously. So I'm probably not gonna buy it soon, but it's definitely uh, for repurchase in the future. Next is the Philip Kingsley One More Day Dry Shampoo. Um, this was a little sample size I got in Birchbox or something like that. This is fantastic. I did talk about this earlier, actually. Um, you might have heard me mention it when I talked about the Umberto Giannini Dry Shampoo. This is probably one of the best dry shampoos I've ever used. Uh, it leaves your hair feeling really, really silky, whereas a lot of dry shampoos can dry your scalp out or dry just the roots of your hair out. Um, this leaves it feeling like you've just washed it. It's absolutely lovely. I'm definitely going to get it again, um, but it's not an everyday product. Well, not that you'd use dry shampoo every day, but it's not a product that you'd use all the time because, as I said, it's about £14, I think. Uh, for a big bottle of it, which is a lot of money when you consider you can get a, a Bastiste one for three or four pounds. So I love it. Um, I'm probably not going to get it anytime soon. I've just bought another Bastiste one um, because I was in home bargains and I needed some. So um, definitely going to get it, but not anytime soon. Talking about Batiste and dry shampoos, I've got the Coconut and Exotic Tropical Fragrance. I did like this, but I've recently bought the blush, which smells so much nicer. And in comparison, this smells a bit artificial. The fragrance is nice, and the Batiste dry shampoos are really good. Um, but I think, just from what I've tried, i would probably buy the blush one in the future. This is another Ren skincare product. It's the Hot Cloth Cleanser, which I've probably talked about before. Well, I know I've talked about it before, um, and I just love this product. It's so good at calming down my skin. You basically, um, you rub it on dry skin. Um, you can do it when you've got a full face of makeup because it's a cleanser you can use to take your makeup off as well as just um, getting the grime off um, your face if you don't wear foundation or anything. Um, and you sort of, obviously you can close your eyes and rub it in to remove um, any mascara or eye, other eye makeup uh, and then you get a hot cloth which is included and you run it under really hot water you place it on your face and it just steams open your pores and then you wipe off all your makeup and all of the cleanser it's just so nice it smells like roses just just beautiful um, it runs one of those no paraben sulfates blah 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 products all their skincare's like that, I love it. Um, I just bought a big, I don't know how much it was, 150 mils I think, of the cleanser, which comes, every time you buy that, that comes with a cloth as well. So you, <laughs> you build up quite a collection. Um, if you've got problem skin, I would definitely give this a go, although it is suitable for skin types. Absolutely can't say enough good things about this, love it. 
More skincare, I've got two products from Nip and Fab, which I thought I'll show you together because they are part of my nightly skincare routine. So this is the Glycolic Fix Serum, and this is the Glycolic Fix Exfoliating Facial Pads. Um, the serum is just an overnight serum, but it has got 4% glycolic acid in. My skin tends to react quite well to glycolic acid. It's something that's worth checking out uh, because everyone's skin is going to react better to a different active ingredient. Mine happens to be glycolic acid. Salicylic acid, which is another good thing for acne, doesn't work quite as well as glycolic does. If you try glycolic, because it's a chemical exfoliator, meaning it will get into your pores and it will properly clean them out, um, you will get a breakout when you start using it. Start it for two, three weeks, your skin will calm down, and it basically keeps your skin very refreshed. Um, you've got to wear sunscreen though, or a tinted moisturizer, or a foundation with sunscreen in, because it, makes, it basically renews the surface of your skin continually. So it's really good for your skin, but you've got to make sure that you take care of yourself when you're going outside. But I love it. Uh, I also use the Glycolic Fix pads beforehand, which are smooth on one side and um, textured on the other for exfoliation. Um, this will obviously will get the ti last tiny bits of makeup off before you put the serum on. Um, they're soaked full of glycolic acid. They smell lovely. I just love them. So uh, these are the two things that I've been regularly using at night. I think my skin has improved. Annoyingly, I get um, breakouts from hormonal reasons now, which I never used to do so much. I get cystic acne or nodular acne, I think it probably is. Uh, these, these aren't gonna do anything for that because they're just it, it, nightmares bubbling beneath my skin. No one should have to go through that when they turn 30. It's ridiculous. You guys know how I feel about adult acne. I hate it, it shouldn't be allowed. Um, so these aren't gonna touch it, but for day-to-day -day skincare, for keeping acne at bay, it's pretty good. So, uh, and it keeps me looking young and beautiful, you know, cause I'm middle-aged now. <laughs> Next I've got the Bliss Pore Perfecting Facial Polish. It's really good, um, but for the price, I prefer my St. Ives Apricot Scrub um, because this is pretty, I think this is about, I don't know, between 12 and 13 pounds maybe. It's not cheap. Bliss isn't a cheap skincare brand. A lot of the stuff they do is just absolutely fantastic. This was good, but um, it's, I don't think it's worth the money. So I'd stick with the four or five pounds I pay for my St. Ives Scrub any day and um, so I won't be buying this again. Next is an antiperspirant. It's the Dove Original, uh, so the roll-on. Um, I don't tend to buy roll-ons, but I do like to keep them in my travel bag in case I'm going away because they take up less room than my big aerosol of the Nivea deodorant that I now won't use anything but it, really. So it's good if you're going away uh, overnight or for a couple of days. If I was going on holiday, I'd take the big aerosol. Um, sometimes I don't want to cram that into my bag, so these are good. This is perfectly good, capable deodorant. It's just not my favourite anymore. The Nivea deodorant I like comes in a roll-on as well, but I actually don't like that. I don't think the formula is good. So uh, I'm not going to pay however two, three pounds for the roll-on when you can get these for a quid. So this is perfectly good. Um, I want to buy it again. Yeah, if I had run out of roll-on and it was on offer, probably get it. But other than that, I'm not going to rush out and buy it again. Next is the Soap and Glory, the scrub of your life. I adore this. Um, it, it smells of the regular Soap and Glory um, scent. I, I don't know how to describe it, but if you're a fan of Soap and Glory, you know exactly how the, the popular products smell. This is the original fragrance, if you know what I mean. Um, so anything like the Righteous Butter, it's, it's, it smells like that. So it smells amazing. Sorry, I had to stop and have a little little sniff of it then, it is so nice. I'm sure I've got another one of these somewhere. Um, uh, yeah, it's great. I definitely get it again, a little bit goes a long way. So uh, I love this. And if you like the original scent of the Safe and Glory product, you will like it too. Next is a uh, Shea Butter Hair Mask from Silk and Honey. Now, this is a bit odd because you can buy this but you have to almost make your own product. It, 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 this came in my birch box, and you have to like mix two products to make this or something. And then it costs about 60 quid and you've got to make your own product. It might not be 60 quid, but I remember it being a lot of money when I looked on the birch box website. And I was just like, are you actually serious? I've got to sit and make my own product. And then you charge me a premium price for it. It's not even that good. It's all right. I mean, if you could get a full size one for, I mean, how much is, how many is this? 
this is like 50 mils or something, doesn't say on it. If you get a full size one, so if you get 200 mils for fiver or something, I might buy it. It's all right, but for the price they want to charge for it, I, I, I cannot get over it. It's insane. It is insane how much it costs. So, um, no. no, no. Next, I've got the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Exfoliating Pads. I used to use these before I started using the Glycolic Fix from Nip and Fab. Um, these are really nice as well, but um, I prefer the Nip and Fab ones. The Body Shop Tea Tree products don't have quite as much of tea tree oil in as I would like. They're quite a low essential oil content, so uh, which is good because if you're only slightly acne prone or you've got normal-ish skin, uh, then it's quite good for you. If you've got more problem skin like me, you need a higher amount of the essential oil in your product so i buy pure essential oil uh, and then you can make your own um like cleanser or, or whatever you want uh, by diluting it so if you're quite acne prone then you're probably better off doing that um if you only get the odd pimple and just want to keep them at bay then these are really good um, but like i said i prefer the nip and fab ones so those are the ones i use now Next, I've got the Dove Hair Therapy Damage Solutions Intensive Repair Conditioner. Um, this is really good. I've talked about this loads of times before, but I found that the express treatment, which comes in the, the tube, the kind of squeezy tube, rather than this hard plastic um, bottle, I suppose it would be, I find that works slightly better. I don't know why, um, because that's the one that works in a minute, and this is just the regular shampoo from the range. I, I don't know why they should be different, but they are. I find, like I said, the other one works slightly better. So this is really good. I bought it when it was an offer. Um, so I probably wouldn't get this again. i get the one minute one, which is in the tube, I think. Yeah. But this is a really good conditioner. Uh, so I do love it. I'm just going to get a different one in the same range. Next up, we're sticking on the subject of hair care for the rest of the video. Uh, this is the Redken Scalp Relief Dandruff Control Conditioner. Um, I think I showed this before. I know I had the shampoo before and it worked for a little while and then before the bottle was even half empty, it stopped working, which was really, really frustrating uh, and it wasn't helping with my dandruff. I don't get masses of dandruff. Um, but I get enough that you want to make sure you can do everything you can to keep it at bay for as long as possible, if that makes sense. So it's not really, really visible, but I think it's because I know it's there and other people don't notice it probably, but I do. Um, this conditioner is specifically designed for you to be able to put on your scalp. Obviously, you shouldn't put conditioner on your scalp normally, but this stuff is designed for use on your scalp. Now, you can't get it anymore. So that's a real pain because I find this is really, really good. It also helps my hair stay a little bit sleeker for longer at the top because as you can see, I've got lots of little flyaway bits, as a lot of people do, I'm sure. Um, but it helps my hair stay a lot sleeker for a lot longer up top. So what I'm doing is I get this on eBay when I can because sometimes you can find it, sometimes you can't. If anyone knows where you can get this, by the way, just the conditioner because they still do the shampoo, not the conditioner. If anyone knows where I can find this, let me know. But what I do is, instead of using all of it on my hair, which I do like to do, because it's great, I save this just for my scalp. So I'll put a different conditioner on my mids and down to my, uh, my the tips of my hair, on my roots, I'll put this on it. And it's great. Um, I've got another half bottle in the shower at the moment, and I've got another bottle that I've been saving. Other than that, if I can't get any more soon, because you do go through it quite quickly. Like, I wash my hair two to three times a week, I'd say. I like to go three days without washing it, four if I can eke it out to that, because if I wash my hair too often, it just goes dry. Um, so, I leave it for as long as I can. So, you can get through it quite quickly, because it's only a 250 ml bottle. I love it. I'd recommend it if you could get it again, but at the moment you can't, so I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, <laughs> I miss it. I already miss it, and I haven't even run out of it yet. I lied about the hair care thing. This is a bath powder. This is another Body Shop product, because I love the Body Shop. This is the Divine Calm Serenity Milk Bath Powder. Uh, I think this is just discontinued as well, because I can't find it anywhere on the Body Shop website. Um, I haven't been into a Body Shop um, shop for ages. Body Shop shop for ages. Um, this has got French lavender essential oil and soya milk. This is just beautiful. It does smell really lavender-like. 
um, and it's a powder which you put in the bath and then it kind of goes all milky. It's really relaxing, really soothing, lovely to use before bed, can't find it anymore. So again, I'd recommend this, but there's no point because they don't do it anymore, I don't think. Again, if you see this in a shop, please let me know um, because I really want to get some more of it because I've completely run out now. I thought I had another tub, I don't think I do now. So it's just really frustrating. They seem to discontinue everything I like. Not just the body shop, just everybody. Everyone discontinues everything I like, normally hair care. So what can you do? It's great, can't get it anymore. Another product which happily you can still get is the Charles Worthington Strength and Repair Heat Defense Spray from their Salon at Home range. I've been using this for 10 years maybe, um, possibly a little bit less, it's great. Um, they're in boots on three for two all the time or on offer like two for 10 pounds or maybe more, I don't know, whatever, on hair care. Um, I love this, Charles Worthington's a really, really good um, drugstore, high street brand. They do a lot of good stuff. Um, again, I use this all the time, my mum uses this as well. It just obviously keeps your hair from getting too frazzled if you're straightening it. I don't use it if I'm just blow drying it. I've got something else which I'm gonna talk about in a minute. So um, yeah, I'm gonna buy it again. I think I, I've got, I know I've got a, a virtually full bottle upstairs, so I have got it since. But, but I would get it again and again and again. I haven't found anything that I prefer more to this. So it's, it's a winner for me every time. The product I do use on my hair when I'm blow drying it is the John Frieda Frizzies Extra Strength Formula Hair Serum. I have to use the Extra Strength one because I found that the normal wasn't doing anything for me. Um, I'm going to get this again because it's it's brilliant. I use it obviously when I've just washed my hair, run it through my hair, and then I blow dry my hair straight. And it's really really good. Um, I've decided to branch out instead of buying just another one of these or two of them. They were on offer at Superdrug. Uh, a few months back and I bought a different one to try out and I bought, in fact I bought two different ones to try out. One was something with thermal protection in and the other one was like a cream one like this. You've got to use so much more for a start. I don't think you get any more or if you do it's negligible. I just didn't like it as much so that's coming to an end. I won't be buying that. Um, I'll probably go back to buying this one again unless the thermal one is particularly good because it gives you apparently extra thermal heat protection for when you're blow drying your hair so it doesn't get so frazzled. So if that one's no good, I, I'll just go back to buying this because I, this is tried and tested, it works really, really well. Um, I love it, I absolutely love it and I miss having this and having the crappy cream based one. It's awesome. This is my last product and it's the Ginger Anti-Dandruff Shampoo from The Body Shop. Um, best anti-dandruff shampoo I've ever used. Um, I've run out. This was the last bottle. I thought I had another bottle. I do this all the time. I will use a product and when it's a favourite, for some reason, because I've got loads and loads of different products in like cases and stuff, um, I always think that I've got another one, but normally I haven't. There's stuff that I've not just not used or I just haven't got around to using or trying or, or anything like that. I never have the ones that I like still slashed away. Sometimes I'll get stuff when it's on a three for two offer or buy one get one free offer and I'll go, oh, I must get that and then I'll stash them away. But nine times out of 10, they're, they're just not there. So I'll run out of it, assume I have something and then I don't. So I haven't got around to getting another one of these yet, but I do have um, a Kerastars scalp soothing something and I think that's an anti dandruff shampoo so I'm just I'm just using that I'm just going through it it's not as good at all um, like I said I don't get really bad dandruff uh, it's only a little bit here and there but I find that this keeps it away for longer uh, the Kerastars one just isn't as good so um, once that's finished I might as well go through it because it's a really expensive shampoo once that's finished I'll be getting this again buy it so that's all for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love you forever. Um, I hope the sound quality was a little better because this is the first time using my brand new USB mic. I did a little bit of testing and it did seem to be a little bit better. The sound didn't seem to be so shrill. There wasn't any background noise from what I could tell. So please do leave me a comment and tell me what you thought of it. Uh, I'm on Facebook, I'm on Instagram, I am on Twitter. Please do connect with me on social media. Um, I really like chatting to people and engaging with you. So yeah, hit me up.
Thanks for watching guys, I'll speak to you soon. Take care, bye. Um, it's a ginger Andy Dandruff shampoo. Andy Dandruff? No. <laughs>